Hey guys, it's me, Clayne Connor, here for another brand new movie update. Today's going to be a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for February 5th, 2023. And for this update, I got six VHS tapes, seven DVDs, and seven Blu-rays to show for this update. So yeah, I got some more movies recently, so yep. So anyways, let's start with the update. First, first we're going to start with the six VHS tapes, which all these VHS tapes I got from eBay during the... During the last week, week and a half, and all these are bid auctions, so I won. So, yep, so let's get this started. The first two, first two VHS tapes are big boxes VHS tape, and both these are rare 1980 War Home Video big box VHS tape releases. This one's part of the family classics genre. This is the sequel to Westworld from 1973, which is an MGM film, which I have that on Blu-ray. But this is the sequel, Future World. And this one was released by American International Pictures, but this movie's now owned by MGM. So, yep. So, why not get this one? This is a 1981 VHS release. <laughs> former all from Unknown Video Store. Well, former all from Hoffman's Video. And when I got this tape, this tape actually had the recording tab, which is still there. So I took it off. But I did check this tape. And luckily enough, this tape is not taped over. It has the movie on it, which is good. So, yep. Has Warren Home Video 4 right there. And it acts as a print date right here. This this is printed off. The print date is April 13th, 1981. So, yep. And this other one is a 1980 Warren Home Video VHS big box, 1980. This one was another big auction, so I won. This one's an actual Warner Brothers movie. Oh, this is a 1981 beach, just take my bad. And this one, and this one actually comes with, um, with advertisements inside, which is really cool, which I wasn't expecting. This one's an ad for The Devil and Daniel Mouse. It's got a tan lid. And I did check the open of this tape. This tape has the WCI Home Video logo at the beginning instead of the Warner Home Video logo. So, yep. Very lucky to get this. Also, I'm also very lucky to get this tape for my collection. And the rest are slipcover cases. The next one, come. the next one, the next VHS tape I got from the same seller as the Future World VHS tape. This one's a Vestron Video VHS tape. And this movie is from Sherwood Productions, originally released by 20th Century Fox. And this tape at the beginning does have the film's 20th Century Fox logo at the beginning. But now this movie is currently owned by MGM because MGM has the rights to the Sherwood Productions movies. This is a movie I've been wanting to get for a very long time. Now I finally have it.
Recora Maxell tape. The print date is January 20th, 1985, and it's a formula for some unknown video store. Nineteen seventy one Columbia Pictures movie. Oh, and these by the way, these next two tapes that I got for bid auctions come from the same seller. And this one's a Canadian copy because it has the ink label. And there's actually a print day on here, which is October um I think October eighteenth, nineteen ninety five. And I did check this tape. This tape does have the Canadian Warren screens at the beginning. So this is my second Columbia TriStar Canadian VHS tape I have. The other one is, um, the other one is, um, who, um, who's minding the men? Sorry, it has scatterbrain there. As well as a few other Canadian demo tapes from Columbia TriStar. This one, now in 2000, now I did get this movie on VHS back in 2019, which was a showcase screener VHS, but that one only plays for like five limits, so I decided to give that away and decided to get a better copy, which got the retail VHS tape of this movie release now, because... Dobby Barrett have this one instead. Sorry I'm like talking randomly in this video. The 36th week of nighttime one. And by the way, this was the other tape that I got from the same seller as Dollars VHS. And here's the last speech just for this update. This one I got in the mail yesterday. Turned off the 24th week of 1996, so this is a reprint because this tape was originally released in 1992, and this copy has no previews on it because this is a reprint. And now let's go on to the seven DVDs. This first DVD, this first DVD I ordered off of Amazon um on last on last sometime last week, sometime in January, and this is another War Archive DVD I have in my collection. This is an anime movie produced by Cordy Films and Lucasfilms LTD. And this movie is released by The Lad Company. And I actually do remember seeing this movie movie off of TCM back in 2015. This is a really good animated movie. Although it's a real shame that that this movie this movie was released in a this of how poorly this movie was released back in 1983. And this movie was this movie was very hard to find. Back in the day, uh, up until 2015, when it got a DVD released by the War Archive Collection. This movie was released on VHS and later this back in 1990, but that was the only time that movie was released on video until War Archive released this movie on DVD. But yeah, but this is still a good animated film. This... The next DVD, next DVD, uh, this next DVD is a DVD that I got at Pat's Record Store back in, um, um, back in last, I think, um, yeah, January 27th, which is a Friday. This found one DVD at Pat's Records that day. And this movie is a 1978 movie. This movie has an, it has an early role by Dennis Quaid. And this movie's in the public domain, I believe. This one... This one is released by a company named Passion Productions. I see this DVD multiple times at Pat's Records. So I decided to go ahead and get this... Pick this up.
And next, the next, next three DVDs, the next three DVDs are three DVDs that I got at my dollar, my local Dollar Tree store yesterday, which I, which I found f one, three DVDs and one Blu-ray from Dollar Tree. Here are the three DVDs. Reality Media Movie. It's, once again, it's a re-release by Fiscal Media Distribution. But I'm sure this DVD will still have the same content as the 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment release. This one's from Turbo... Turbo X Radio Media... Here's the last DVD I got at Dollar Tree yesterday. This one's another um, Relative Media Rogue Pictures release that was originally released on DVD by 20th Century Fox, but was released by Fiscal Media Entertainment. But I'm sure this is going to have the same content as the 20th Century Fox Entertainment release. And the last two DVDs for this update are two DVDs, DVDs that I got at Big Lots yesterday, along with the Dollar Tree purchases. I found two DVDs and two Blu-rays from Big Lots yesterday. Here are the two DVDs. I'm not really a big fan of horror films, but this one, I'm decided to go ahead and give this one a chance, because I heard really good things about this. And this was $4, so why not? And this last one is a season DVD set. This one looks really interesting because I do like Michael Douglas and Alan Arkin. So why not check this one out? That's it for the DVDs. Now let's go on to the seven Blu-rays. The first two Blu-rays are two Blu-rays that I got at Gameplay on Friday, January 27th, along with the DVD of The Senior, which I got at Pat's Records. I found two Blu-rays at Gameplay today. And both these movies I had on DVD, by side get these on Blu-ray. Both these are the bad movies, one and two. I have Bad Boys for Life on Blu-ray, so why not get the first two black Bad Boys movies on Blu-ray? I'm also, both these are Columbia Pictures movies. I'm also trying to replace some movies on, D, some movies that I like to get on Blu-ray that I have on DVD. And Ferris Bueller Fanatic 2001, you need to start handling people upgrading stuff because it's our choice, not yours. I'm now lost respect to him because of what he done, because of what he did. These next two Blu-rays are two Blu-rays that I ordered off of Amazon.com. I ordered these two on Thursday, and they came in the mail on Friday. This first one's a Scream Factory Blu-ray. This one was on sale. This is another movie I've been wanting to get for a very long time, now I finally have it. 
20th Century Fox movie. Disc 1 has the feature film, and Disc 2 has the bonus features. And it also has the reversible cover, which I flipped at the, the other cover instead of this. Sadly, this did not come with a slipcover case, only original pressings, but that's okay. And this is my third Scream Factory Blu-ray I have. The other two are Starman and Mad Max, the, the first one. And this next one is a triple feature Blu-ray. The other one I got from Amazon is a triple feature Blu-ray set, which consists of Demolition Man, Over the Top, and Tango, Tango and Cash, all three Sylvester Stallone movies. I've, I did have these three, but Demolition Man I had on VHS, but it was a bit damaged, so I decided to get rid of that one. And I decided to go ahead and get this triple feature set on Blu-ray because it was on sale. And I already had Over the Top and can't Tango and Cash on DVD, but... Why not get these on Blu-ray instead? And my DVD copy of Tango Cash was in a double feature with Cobra, which I also have Cobra on VHS, so I'm, I'm just going to stick to my VHS copy of Cobra for right now. Here's a disc for Demolition Man, Over the Top, and Tango and Cash. Next, the next Blu-ray I got is the one Blu-ray that I got that I got at Dollar Tree yesterday. This one's an IFC Films release movie release, and it was released on DVD and Blu-ray by Paramount. And even though this says Blu-ray and digital HD. This actually comes with a DVD copy, which I was not expecting, so yep. But here's the Blu-ray disc and the DVD. And the digital copy code already expired on September 1st, 2017. And these last two Blu-rays for this update are two Blu-rays that I got at Big Lots yesterday. I have... I just got the first Independence Day movie on Blu-ray last month, so why not get this one? And this one was on sale for $2.50. This one, this one I know got mainly negative reviews, but why not give this one a chance? Once again, this digital copy code expired on October 18, 2019. And here's the last Blu-ray for this update. This movie is from CBS Films and was released on DVD and Blu-ray by Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. And since this is an older Sony Blu-ray, it has artwork behind it. And that's it for my VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for, for February 5th, 2023. Hope you guys like this video and see you guys later.